See, you thought I was going to forget. You thought I was going to forget that I said I was going to make a Goo Gone version of removing stickers from PSP case. And I didn't forget because I got the Goo Gone and I got a PSP game and I have my Goo Gone and Acetone scraper. It was actually kind of difficult to find a PSP case that had stickers on it. That had like, like I want stickers like that. It was actually kind of difficult to find that. I went to a couple of different stores and the one store had like 40 different PSP games and every single one of them was like immaculate. Super weird. So we ended up with 2K Sports Major League Baseball 2K7 with the old, the old Jader. What's funny is sports games and racing games actually play really well on the PSP. Um, they, they don't look amazing, but they look like PS2 games, but they actually play really solid on PSPs. Go figure. Same thing with racing games. Racing games, they all, they all look like PS2 racing games, but they play really well. So if you happen to get a baseball game, football game, basketball game, whatever it is, a sports game on the PSP, try it out. Like actually pop in the system and try it out, and you might be kind of surprised at, at how it plays. For this one, we have a couple of different stickers. We have a GameStop sticker with another GameStop sticker over it, which tells me potentially it was a gut. We have a price sticker on the front here um, that I don't know where it came. This, this is actually how I bought it, exactly like this. Um, and then double stickers on the back, which this always killed me. Like this, this nonsense of like layering up stickers there was never any point. I thought there was never really any point. And if I got a game that already had a sticker on the back, great. Unless the sticker underneath it was new, and this was a new gut version. I don't even know what that beep was. I should probably find out. Anyway, I found out what that beeping was. I don't know if it actually even picked up on the camera. I found out what that beeping was. That is a special thing. That'll come up in a video a little bit later, actually, and it was telling me that it was done. I didn't know that's what it sounded like. Go figure. GameStop sticker, some used game sticker, or used store sticker, more GameStop stickers on the back. Actually, I haven't checked this out. It's the best picture they could have gotten of him, really. Same thing as always with the PSP cases is that you want to pull one of the two tabs to make sure that you don't separate it. Let's see if this one... Oh, well, that's nice. Look at that. No breakage. That's always positive. Look at this manual. Look at that. Look at that manual. 30 page, what is it? 30, 35 page manual. Stuff they don't do anymore. And then the cover art. I am... I'll cover it's in good shape too. This this creasing happens a lot with PSP games. Just kind of the way it goes. People also seem to overpack these, where if they put them on the shelf, they kind of like jam a bunch of them in unnecessarily. I'm gonna try to remove the sticker off of the hologram sticker. I don't know, just for funsies. See if we can do it. Um because I want to keep this as a sports game. So Goo gone. Goo gone application is a little different from heptane. Um, I tend to start off by just dabbing it on. If you could see me right now, I would be doing the dabbing motion. I tend to just dab it on, let it kind of do its stuff first, and then go to town from there. I lost my card. Oh no, there it is. Can't do any work without the Cold Stone Creamery card. Okay. Same exact approach though, is that you just get a good scrape. You don't want to gouge the plastic. 
Yeah, this plastic cover is actually fairly loose. Um, fairly really loose. And this is, this is the only difference. So the thing I'm going to show you is kind of a method that I use when I'm using heptane. I was told once that this is kind of difficult to do for some people. I don't know why. Um, but I apply Goo Gone underneath, kind of as I'm going along, so as I'm scraping. Let it kind of just do its thing. With Goo Gone, you're going to get a lot more residue. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you're keeping your scraper pretty clean. Hey, you can use a spoon for this one, though. I mean, preferably, but you don't have to. If this ends up taking too long, if, if you feel like you're, you've been sitting here forever and, and you're just not getting the, the saturation and the release and everything that you're hoping for, you can soak a paper towel with Goo Gone and then hold it up against the sticker and let it soak in. That kind of overdoes it a little bit. Um, it works. It does kind of the same thing. It's not just, it's not amazing at it. So once I get a good chunk of it up, and this is going to be a lot different than heptane. Once I get a good chunk of it up that I can actually pull on it, I start to try to pull. You see that I tear it toward a little bit. I start to pull it up. My big dumb hands are in the way, but I start to pull it up. And then as I'm pulling it up, I will take the Goo Gone and rub it directly underneath and against the creasing as much as I can. Is the cat again as much as I can against this creasing just to help separate it. So just like that. And you'll want to reapply it pretty regularly because the, the Q-tip itself will start to get more and more um, just filled with junk. And then really focus on getting rid of the big chunks. That's going to be the biggest thing is just getting rid of the big chunks of stuff first. And then you can go back in and you'll have a little bit of an easier time removing all the small stuff. Okay. It's the same deal. However possible, you want to make sure you're scraping towards an edge, just so you're not spreading things around and making things a lot worse. Okay. So we got the majority up, we got the big chunks up. This is where, this is the other thing that makes it a little different when I do Goo Gone as compared to other stuff, is that I bring in a toothbrush and I just start to kind of agitate the entire area. And I just work as much of the Goo Gone into the surface as I can. And then I'll come in and wipe and then see how we're looking. I've said in a few videos that my cat has the amazing ability of picking the exact time that I start filming to pee. And once again, he is amazing at it. Hopefully you can't hear that. Boom. I, I'm fine with Goo Gone. I like using Goo Gone. I've used Goo Gone before. I continue to use Goo Gone. I don't want anyone to think that I'm some sort of a anti-Goo Gone person or that I'll, all I'm promoting is heptane. That like that's the next best thing in the whole wide world. I use Goo Gone for years and years and years. Same thing with this, but this is going to be a little more interesting. We just have to be selective about what we scrape, okay? So as we go in and we start to scrape, 
we just want to make sure that we're not scraping the hologram, but we're scraping this sticker. Ooh, we might get lucky with this. So same deal. Get your goo gone onto a Q-tip. Put it directly against the sticker. This might not work. Then again, it might. There's a fair bit of texturing on the sticker itself. This is not something you have to do. This is just something I was curious about. Let's see if I could. Actually, we're gonna go back in. And this might Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. Hmm? No. I thought for a second that when someone removed the sticker at some point, that it tore um, the hologram, but it actually didn't. Okay. This is totally off menu you don't have to do any of this stuff i'm just curious to see if it's possible um Yeah, mostly just curious to see if it's possible to remove. This is that method I was talking about where you just get it soaked. You hold it against it for a bit. You can wiggle it around a little bit. Um, but that is actually, I don't wanna scrape anything. is actually kind of working. People out there that are probably just like, I just wanted to watch you take some stickers off of a PSP and now you're going real weird with it. I still can't tell if that's a tear or not though. That's what's frustrating. Again, just remember that I didn't take a before and after. Really, that's why I videotape all this stuff. So I don't have to take before and afters. So it's not a big deal if I do. Let's, I can't tell if that's a tear or not. First of all, shut up. Second of all, be surprised how often this comes in handy. Uh, nope, that is not a tear. Yes, it's a magnifying glass. I am aware. I just want to get the majority of the paper off. Like the sticker paper off. And then I can see about getting more goo going on the residue.
somebody comes in, they're like, what are you watching? Some guy has been cleaning video games for like the last 20 minutes. Oh. I'll be like, is it that guy that restores like old tools? You're like, no, this guy's weird. And they're like, that's cool, but is he good at it? And you're like, eh, kind of. Oh, I scraped it. Son of a bee sting. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Or did I? Or did I? Maybe I do, son. Maybe I do. Look at me being the Pope of Chili Town. I'm not, like, I'm not ecstatic with how this turned out. But given the fact that I had no idea how it would turn out. Oh, now the numbers are coming off. Oh. Okay. Well, so, there you go. That's not as much of it removed as I would want. Um, but, getting close. There is, I don't know if you can see that. don't like using the metal scraper on plastic, but some of this old residue can be particular. So if you do end up having to use the metal scraper on plastic, just keep it nice and flat. Um, try to go you know, only in one direction, forward or backward in, in that one direction. Um, and just take your time with it. I'm gonna let that soak for a second. That's the other thing is with Goo Gone is you get a lot better reactions from it if you let it soak for a second. So if you let it kind of work its magic and you let it sit there, you get a little better reaction. I'm going to try this little guy just to see. Actually, I'm going to try this little guy. I don't know if you can hear it. But there's definitely a sound difference when you hit uh, residue and when you don't. And you'll, you'll hear it when you're cleaning it. It sounds crazy when someone like explains it to you, but then when you're cleaning, you're like, oh, that's what that sound is? Yeah, that's what that sound is. To where it's normally like a scrape, 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 and then you hit a spot with residue and it's like a duller scrape. I don't know. Well, that's not terrible. This case needs soaked, though. All right, now for the back. <gasps> Magic. What I did there was, look at it, for real? Oh my, Jefferson's. What I did there is, um, a lot of times GameStop employees in particular, <gasps> there's a tear, oh no. A lot of GameStop employees in particular um, can be kind of lazy when it comes to removing stickers. It can be a little, or when it comes to not removing, when it comes to, um, applying stickers. 
Because Kim Stop employees never remove stickers. So a lot of times they'll they'll slap it down and it'll actually go over the plastic a little bit. Meaning there it is. Meaning that you can use that to your advantage and you have a little bit of um a little bit of grip. A little tab that you can kind of grab onto where they put it too far over the end of the plastic and so it's not really attached to anything and it's just a little bit of paper that you can actually grab, which is nice. So, there is that. I didn't put it on the paper towel. I don't know why. Again, just make sure that you're getting, you know, you're keeping a nice, I'm rolling, so I'm making this kind of a scooping rolling motion. And what that's doing is that's keeping me from gouging into the plastic. Same thing with the card. The card's just helping to reduce how much I'm gouging into the plastic. And so I'm doing like a scooping kind of motion just so that I'm not doing just straight plastic, digging into straight plastic kind of thing. And that'll help get the majority of your stuff off. There we go. And another couple of soaks. Let that hang out for a second. Clean up my messes. Grabbed all these Q-tips and used one. That's the way that it goes. If I'm doing a lot of cleaning, um, I will set up a trash can right next to me so I can just toss everything directly into the trash can. But I'm only doing a couple tonight. A couple little film. A couple of just kind of basic ones that I've already done videos on before, so I won't subject you to the horrors of those again. And a couple of trials. I have a few techniques and a few things that I got to try out just to make sure that it works the way that I want it to. And then doing a little bit more work on the water case. For those of you who don't know, I have some WADA games, one in particular, that uh, my goal is to remove it from its case without damaging the case. There are some videos on the internet that show you how to get a game out of a WADA case but it involves drilling or hammer or cutting. And I have been slowly but surely working on a way to use uh, some chemicals to get it out of the case without damaging the case. Um, so my goal in that instance is twofold. I just, I got some goo gone underneath here, so I'm just using this to kind of wipe it up and absorb it a little bit. My goal is twofold, one, I'm hoping to remove a game from a WADA case and be that person. Wouldn't that be neat? Um, and then be able to kind of send it back to them. Be like, hey, I did this. And then two, this case needs a bath. Um, and then two, I want to be able to remove a game from a WADA case, and this is a PlayStation 1 game, and it's a PlayStation 1 game that quite possibly has disc rot. It, it's in line with the games that have disc rot. There's a long reason why I don't talk about disc rot on this channel too much. Um, it, 
But this game in particular is in line with the games it should have disc rot, and I'm going to take it out of its case and see if I can see what I can see, that kind of thing. Um, I just want to see how grading games and sealing games can impact disc rot. That is neither here nor there, but that is one of the things I'm working on tonight is just the continued work to remove a game from a water case. Missed a spot. Take the cover out before you do this. I say that and then I proceed to not do that. This whole thing just needs to soak, honestly. It's probably what I'll do after this, soak the whole thing. Um, anyway. Yeah, this thing's filthy too. Oh my gosh, okay. This whole thing's getting a soak. But even this is kind of dirty. At any rate, at any rate, that is how you clean a PSP game with Goo Gun. A lot of the same methods, a lot of the same techniques, approaches, styles. Um, It's more just a matter of when you are scraping to make sure that you're you're rolling as you're doing it. So it's a lot of this kind of motion and you're not gouging directly into the plastic. Um, just because that's gonna dent the plastic. Make sure you have a card behind it so that you don't, yeah, there's dirt on the inside. Make sure you have a card behind it so that you don't um, Gouge the plastic too much. When you put on Goo Gone, let it sit for a second, let it soak in, let it do its thing. Sometimes you have to brush it in a little bit more um, to get it kind of going and everything. So soft bristle toothbrush, as always, just work that in there, um, let it work up. The big thing is that Goo Gone has a really hard time penetrating paper and plastic labels. So if you leave it on a label, it's not really going to be able to soak in. The um, glycol that's in it has a, a hard time soaking into things. It can soak under things. So you see, like, when I was pulling up the side and everything, it could soak under it. But it has a really difficult time um, permeating and penetrating through paper. So the more you can scrape up from the top, the better in the long run, because then you're able to scrape up all the, all the top stuff. And then you just set Goo Gone onto the surface and let it do its work. Cool. Um, I have a separate scraper for Goo Gone and acetone, which you don't see me use too much acetone. There's a reason. I'll show you when you should use it and when you should not. The blue ones are just for the initial removal, just if I'm using um, and removing adhesive. And the white ones are heptane. Um, the blue ones are just kind of a test scrape kind of thing. You see that the edges are um, kind of jacked up a little bit right now, but those will get shaved down and polished down a lot better and everything. This is just that that three scraper kit that I talk about all the time. These little guys are nice for getting into the corners and the seams if you need to pry something up. That kind of thing. So there you go. Moving stickers from a PSP game using Goo Gone. It's amazing that I ever actually make any videos though, cause I'll just get so distracted by the strangest things. Yeah, this whole thing's getting a bath and the plastic's torn. At any rate, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna soak this for a while, um, just to clean it up and get some of the dirt out and it'll look fantastic. But that's all. Um... I don't think there are any others for the PSP that I'm going to be doing. 
I will do a console cleaning video, but we will get to that. If there is anything else that you would like to see on this channel or any specifics, let me know. The next one that I have after this is um, Game Boy Advance box, removing a sticker from that one. I'm really excited about that one. That one we're going to get into. It's going to be a little bit longer, but that one's been asked by a couple of different people, so we'll get into that. As always, please, if you like the stuff that you're seeing on here and if you like the videos, I'm trying to get better at coming out with regular content, but if you like the videos, um, subscribe, put in some comments about what else you would like to see. If there's certain things that you're having trouble with, let me know that. You can find me on Discord. It is L-Doug, E-L-D-O-U-G 4037. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Restore and replay video game preservation. I'm on all those things. Um, Twitch as well. I need to start doing more Twitch too. But anyway, if you run into something where you have a question of how to clean something or you want to know how to clean something or there's just a sticker that's bothering you or something, let me know and I will totally walk you through exactly how to do it. Discs, cases, consoles, cartridges, controllers, all the C's, manuals, strategy guides, boxes, whatever it is. If, if there's something that you have that's, that's bugging you, messing with you, and you got a sticker you want to take off, let me know. And I will be more than happy to walk you through the steps. I am working, and some of you already know this, I am working on a list of tools and equipment. And I'm also working on a list of tools, equipment, and chemicals for people outside of the States um, of kind of what brands I like. The trick is that you basically identify what active ingredients there are in the chemicals that we can get in the United States. And then I find a complementary version of that in whatever country you are in. If you want to help with those things, um, drop me a comment in anything. And I'd love to get your help. I, it's hard finding stores. This is the funniest thing. Like here we have Walmart and in some countries they don't have any of it. So if that is something that you're interested in helping out with, let me know. I'd love to, to kind of pick your brain about what cleaners there are in your country that will go into the book that is still in process. That will be a years long kind of thing. The, the L Doug's tome of all things cleaning and whatnot. <laughs> It'll be in there. Um, guides, pictures, walkthroughs, everything else will be in there. Basically, I'm just going to download Discord, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram and throw it into a book. Not really. But like I said, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. I got a decent stack to clean. So with that being said, I'm going to keep cleaning. Thanks, guys.